Okay, welcome to the stream. Hopefully, this is all going to work out today. We are going to be starting the very first episode of our Minecraft Let's Play here. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please feel free to check out the stream. I will put the link in the description. And as of right now, I am streaming it uh, kind of random times each day, but I am doing my best to consistently make it around 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock. So feel free to pop in, say hi, and let's get started. For the seed, I think what we're going to do is we are going to do Let's Play as the seed as well. And if you want to do that as well, hopefully it should give you the same... <laughs> Um, same world to play on, and we can all play together. So, create the new world, and let's get started. And there we go. The first spawn, and it is a very snowy, icy spawn. Ooh. Not really sure how I feel about this. This is not a wonderful place to build a base and stuff maybe though it is 1.18 so maybe there's some nice caves around here wow just a little bit of that uh brand new world loading lag but that shouldn't be too much of a problem hopefully if we load new chunks we might end up with a little bit of it but uh for now we can just focus on the basics of starting any minecraft world get some wood here and then we can keep going i did play um I did play a little bit in a world of my own before this, so I do kind of know what to be expecting as far as the mod pack goes. For example, we do have Fast Leap Decay, which I'm very happy about that. Uh, I always like having Fast Leap Decay in a pack, it just makes life a lot easier for chopping down the trees, of course. We're gonna chop down this one, we're gonna finish chopping down the one, uh, like the area we built up at there. And then we are going to start looking around, hopefully find some uh, caves. You know, it is the Caves and Cliff update. <laughs> might, as well, uh, might as well see if we can't find some caves to deal with. This is really nice, the Red Courant, because it will automatically heal when eaten. I believe it gives you like an extra two hearts when you eat it. But, like heals you two hearts, but I'm not actually 100% sure. I just used it as a food source in my other world. So, where is this? Oh, oh, this one's connected. Okay, we're just gonna separate these a bit so these leaves can decay and we can get whatever food we can from them. Because, towards the beginning at least, food might be a little bit scarce. Unfortunately, like I said, unfortunately we are in a snow biome. So we don't have the advantage of, and the for those that are wondering, the Warren Notebook is just a guidebook to starting into Ars Novo, which I will happily get into then. But unfortunately, we can't start until we have like full iron tools, so that might take a little bit. But yeah, we can continue for now. Hopefully, we can find a nicer spot. We can, oh. We got a village it looks like that's awesome because part of the problem with food is normally if you spawn in like a plains biome that works out really well because there are actually trees that just have growing on them you just right click the leaves and you get the fruit which makes for a really nice early game food source while we're here let's actually no you know what i was gonna say let's make some tools but let's ooh, ooh. i was gonna say let's loot the village first i really like the uh Framed cobblestone, that, that's a nice look for this village. I actually really like that look. Yep. Oh, really? No, well, we got a free bed at least. That's always wonderful. Free furnace as well. No fuel in it, though. Crafting table and... Oh, this is a mine colony's place. I'll be honest, I know that there are... Uh, I know that there are a lot of people that probably really like mine colonies. I am not the biggest fan of it. Uh, like I said, I'm liking the decoration. I like the house here. But I am not 
I'm not a Mind Colonies person. If I want to play Clash of Clans, I will just play Clash of Clans. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, though, yeah, really can't use a lot of this. And unfortunately, the chests are empty. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. But we can get sugarcane here. We can get little things, like we got the crafting table, we got the bed. Oh, we can fall and take damage. Ooh, is that... It looks like a desert temple, but snow biome themed. That's great. Let's check out this house first, and then we can go check out that. Hopefully find some good loot in it. I'm assuming it would be the same. Yeah, I guess as much. Oh, well, nothing, nothing important in there. But I'd have to assume this is the same as the uh, normal desert temple right oh oh stray hello that's not good eat this okay so maybe it's just the saturation will always put put you up two hearts i don't really know regardless let's just throw down the crafting table let's get some basic tools going here hopefully we can try and hello can i not craft spruce logs into planks oh there we go just it waited a bit for me there. Um, we'll start with some basic tools. For now, we can just go, I guess, pickaxe and then... Do we get the axe to... Yeah, let's get the axe. That way we can fight the stray and deal some decent damage there. Plus, we can dig up the crafting table just a little bit easier. I was considering getting a shovel as well for dealing with all the snow, but... Whoa. Come on. So there we go. Ooh, we actually got an arrow slowness and we're gonna die. No. Come on. Bed, bed, bed. Dang it. Oh, that stinks. And we didn't get the enchanted grave key, just a normal one, so. Looks like we are walking back, and I totally missed this cave the first time. Wow. Hope you get a decent amount of loot from that. It looks like the strays might have gone away. I think so. I am not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I will happily take that. Oh no. Well. That's unfortunate. Oh. All that loot is just gone. Okay, I don't... We're just gonna start over here. I don't even think there's a point to going back now. If we try, all we're gonna be able to get is the stuff we already had there, which really wasn't all that much. And... Oh, that really stinks. I should have checked more for the strays before we, uh, before we went down there. That's fine. We will take what we can get here. We'll take some wood. We'll get started again. Just... Oh, that really sucks. Oh, well. Where's that cave I had seen? Yeah, for now, honestly, we can open up the journey map here. We can just remove the death points, because uh, I don't see myself going back for them. Oops. We can start up here. Get... A pickaxe crafted right away. I'm not even going to bother with an axe or anything until we have stone. The key. I know I'm probably supposed to save it for getting the grave later on, but... I'm just going to come over here. Oh, wow. Right. Alex's mobs is in this. They had whales. I forgot about that. Well, whales, I give you a tribute of a key. Swim on, you majestic creatures. <laughs> Wow. Those things are freaking massive. I always forget how large they are until I see the Alex's mobs again, and they're always just absolutely huge. It's just, it's really cool. So, let's chop down this tree to get down, because if anything, we'll get a little extra wood out of it, and hopefully be able to... Oh, I shouldn't have scrolled it. Oh, well. Get a little bit of extra wood out of it and be able to craft a bunch of torches, start making our way through the cave, maybe even get some decent 
loot and supplies. Um, there it is. There go all the leaves. Okay. No saplings or anything. That's kind of disappointing, but we'll start off here how about everyone does. We'll get three stone, and now our wooden pickaxe is useless. That way we are not wandering around here with no weapon. For now, I think we're just going to stick... Eh, let's make an axe right away. It isn't going to hurt, and it's going to help break stuff like the crafting table a lot faster. We need torches, though. So let's... I know I had some planks already, but it'll be fine. We also don't have any... Oh, right, there's tiny coal in this. Can I craft that back? Okay, I can. That's good. So, we need coal eventually, but for now we can stick with the tiny coal. And let's start, that looks like iron already. Awesome, we got iron, we got copper, we got that silver or tin. Aluminum, neither. I believe aluminum is actually pretty good as a material. I think it is iron level, if I remember correctly. Meaning that if we end up crafting, I don't think we can just craft a straight pickaxe out of it, but we could craft a silent pickaxe out of it, or even better, a silent paxel, maybe. Grab these for building blocks. But yeah, if we get a uh, silent pool out of it, we'd be able to use that for a iron level pickaxe right away. And the silent stuff is normally fairly easy to repair as well. I believe there's like repair kits you can use with it. I don't know that we want to use copper. I don't think copper is that high of a level. I can check, I think, if we look at... I don't know if I can just look up copper. No. So what I'll need to do is look at the uses for copper itself. Maybe we could... Um, oh yeah, if you're wondering why I've got all of this stuff listed here though, that is because I have the extended tooltips on, which if you would like to do the same, uh, it's just F3 and H, and I like it because for just about everything, every tool and stuff you can see, it does list the durability on it, and this is not even a modded thing, you can do it in vanilla Minecraft as well, that you can use F3H and look at the durability of your tools, and I really, really like having that on, because I can always tell just how far I'm able to push the tool before I'm like, okay, well, now it needs to be repaired or replaced or whatever. So, continue along. I might grab a bit of the diorite, because in Create, um, which is a really good early game mod. You do need a good amount of andesite. And for those that don't know, you can craft andesite using diorite, and just one piece of diorite and one piece of cobblestone will get you what you need. Okay, so it's just like an underwater cave. We, we are not going to explore that yet. It just isn't worth it. That is osmium. That is... As you can see in the real top there, it does list if, like up here where the mouse is right now, uh, when I'm in the game, it lists that it needs an iron pickaxe up there. And our current pickaxe won't handle that. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to see about, let's move that over, we need a stick. We're going to see about possibly crafting, that's the fillet knife. How do I get a silent knife? There is a specific knife used to make these templates, and these templates are actually what you need to start with. I think we're going to go with the Paxel right away. Um, but you need the dagger. Is that what it's called? It's called a knife as well. But you need one of those to make the templates. I could have sworn there was a wooden knife in here somewhere. Yeah, it's just... Oh, right, you need a rough rod first, though. Okay, so it's just a rough rod and a single plank there. Awesome, now we have a knife. And then we just combine that with this. We get a bunch of templates, and we might do some armor in a little bit. In the meantime, though, what I think we're going to do is we're going to stick some aluminum in here to start crafting up. 
and hopefully that is enough for the Paxel. I'm not sure though. We will just have to see if we look at this, it should tell us. Yes, okay, so we only need five. We are going to need a tool rod of some kind. However, we could use the rough rod, which would decrease the durability by 28%, unfortunately. So why don't we quickly look and see, does it list the other rod types? There are some. There's stone, which does lower the durability again, but increases the harvest speed, which is nice. Iron is tempting because it decreases durability, but increases just about every, I mean, uh, decreases enchantability, but will increase durability. Netherwood, we won't have access to. So in that case, we might just need to go. Yeah, the, the stone rod would be better. And that's just two cobblestone. So quickly mine two cobblestone here. We can grab the aluminum there and we can quickly craft a stone rod here and if we put that down there along with that there and there we go and we now have our aluminum paxel which if you do look at it it does have some traits here that it's listing including malleable which means it takes less damage soft um is unfortunate uh, we don't want that. It reduces harvest speed as it's damaged. Synergistic, which gets a bonus of some kind. I'm not really sure what the bonus is, but it will get a bonus because we used the all aluminum when crafting the head of the Paxel. And it gets crushing. So it increases armor or decreases attack damage as gear is damaged. So it would decrease the attack damage as it gets damaged. However... We really aren't planning on attacking much with this. We just want it to mine with. Now that we have this, we can look for this again, the osmium. And as you can see, we can mine it and we can mine it pretty quickly now. The zinc is useful for early game create because you can use it instead of iron nuggets for making andesite alloy. However, I don't feel like trying to get it on the edge of the cliff right now. So we're just going to stay up here and cave here a little longer because why not um <laughs> and i believe whoops didn't mean to break the torch there i believe there is also a hammer we can make pretty early on that will actually allow us to duplicate our ores now that i'm thinking about it let's look real quick if we look at this Yes, there are ore hammers here, which are two blocks of any given material and three sticks. Knowing how much copper there is around here, we will probably end up making a copper ore hammer then, just so we can get that nice ore duplication out of it. What do we have here? Silver. Ooh, nice. We like silver. Silver is a higher tier material. I'm not really sure how much higher, but... You know, every, every little bit of higher material components is always very nice. So we can just toss all that in the inventory. We can sort it out and figure all that stuff out later. In the meantime, let's keep caving a bit here. I know caving isn't exactly the most exciting thing in the world, but unfortunately for early game Minecraft, it is necessary. So... What I will do is I will be providing on the YouTube video a nice montage here of just going quickly through all of the caving. Nice, we got some tin here. And we can go through what I get afterwards for YouTube.
Okay, and just like that, our inventory is nice and full. I know we've got a bunch of junk in here, but what we're going to do now is we are going to use this very convenient waterfall here to just swim our way back up if we can make it up without falling. <laughs> and we are going to climb our way out of the cave, and we're going to set up just a little bit of base to start holding and smelting down our various ores and items. Um, <laughs> but anyways, what we can do, we can actually craft some of this back into tiny coal, which for those of you that don't know, it just will smelt only one item per tiny coal, which makes the coal a lot more efficient because you don't need to worry about rationing out a certain amount per. Um, but what we're going to do here is we are going to take one out there and do that. Now we have me not being able to do basic math. Hold up. Um, <laughs> that's too much. We want exactly 18 cooked. So let's do that. There we go. We want two blocks of copper cooked here. That way we're able to make the... And let's actually get another furnace going here. Why not? Yeah, I know I just mentioned about being efficient, but oh well. So we'll get that going. We'll start tossing some of the stuff we don't really need into here for now. Uh, we do have lapis. Lapis, I don't believe... Yeah, it's okay. It's got decent harvest level, I guess. Real nice enchantability. But I think as far as armor goes we'd probably end up going with silver or the emerald actually if we'd be able to i don't think we could do more than boots with it though because i believe that the way it works at least is actually we're going to keep these ores on us but i believe the way it works is the ores will or the materials still take just about as much for silence as they do normally so the, the emerald, we'd only really be able to make boots out of. We wouldn't be able to get anything all that great. We'll keep that on us. We can turn that then. But for now, we can put some of this away. We're actually going to keep those on us. We're going to try seeing if we can't make a little bit of armor here. And we can just finish tossing some of this crap away. I love the one thing I love with modded is it normally does include that mod that if you middle click it will sort whatever inventory you're at. We can make the blocks of copper though. Make some sticks. We need three. And then boom, copper ore hammer. Now all of this can be pulverized into twice as much. That's amazing. Um Actually, before we continue with that, let's make sure we actually have what we want to make our item out of. We could just make some iron stuff or keep going with the aluminum as well. I think what we might do is if we can get enough here, we're going to go with copper armor. We've got 26. I believe that should be just enough. I did not mean to put that on the ice. I believe torches on ice have a chance of melting the ice, in which case we would lose that torch and end up with a puddle of water there. Not exactly what we want. And we can also start smelting up the aluminum, I guess. For now, we can stick with aluminum for tools and copper for armor. We are going to want some more wood as well. Let's hop on over here. We can chop down one more tree. And then it is extremely dark here. Oh, there we go. There's still a piece of wood left. Okay. So, let's... And you may be wondering why I'm not just automatically eating all the berries that fall off the tree. Elderberry is great. It actually clears negative potion effects. So, I will eat that right away, so why not? However, the nightshade will poison you. And eating the elderberry doesn't clear it fast enough that I think we'd just lose more hearts than it is worth. So I'm not going to bother with that. I know there was still stuff from that tree left up here, but I can't really spot it for some reason. So I guess we're just going to chop down the wood here and move on. But the reason we needed to chop down another tree is 
the armor templates, I know these, are just the shape of the armor, which means that if we didn't chop down the tree, we would not have had enough of the template boards, that's what they are called, to make the rest of the armor, let alone anything else we might want, like tools or anything like that. So, now that we have this, we've got that smelting, we'll take some of the copper here, and we can start turning this into armor. I believe you just put it in and then, boom, we have a copper chest plate, which really doesn't do much. It's plus four armor, but you know what? That's better than plus zero armor. And we don't quite have enough copper for that yet. Hopefully that goes quickly, but we can stick that on. I just realized we don't actually need the helmet because we got the iron helmet with fire protection and curse of vanishing. Which, eh. I mean, it's, it's definitely better than the copper, but on the other hand, it is not the silence. So I don't know where... We're definitely going to want to replace it later on, but I don't know how good it is overall. Um, why? Oh, oh. Sorry. Had to put more tiny coal in there, that way we could uh, keep cooking. But yeah, the, the helmet we'll replace later. For now, the iron is going to be better than the copper, but we are going to want to upgrade it to... A silent armor at some point because it just works a lot nicer makes it a lot easier to take care of and repair so do that we are pretty much out of food still which is a problem I don't want to start eating the poison berries and you may be wondering why I'm cooking up this extra copper here that is because that is what I smashed <laughs> but also it's because I believe this is the recipe no. There is another template that I would love to use here for a shield. Ah, oh, I was close. It was backwards. But having, having a shield without needing to use up the iron for it is wonderful. Oh, right. However, I believe it does take another rod to make because it needs something to hold it if this doesn't oh it does work is it just two? Oh, it's just two. Oh, that's real nice thing. okay so now we're set we have sword we've got shield we've got our aluminum paxel we are done with this furnace for now and what i'm thinking is a repair kit here which is not that difficult to make. We need like one cobblestone or one stone of some kind, a stick and five template boards. So what we're gonna do is we are going to make one of those right away. We meant to put the wood in there. We need more template boards for this. Yeah, you, you'd be surprised just how many template boards you end up going through with this mod here. We need one stone. I believe we can just use a diorite. I don't feel like wasting my time cooking up a piece of stone. But then what you need to do is you take, for example, we've got our aluminum paxel. We take the aluminum ingots, we can just craft them here. I don't know if there's a way to just craft it all into there at once, but what we can do is we can fill this on up. It is only a 30% repair efficiency, which is unfortunate. However, it is mobile repair. So for example, if we put it in there with that, boom, it's fully healed. And it used up, it used up one, two aluminum to do that. So we can refill that at least a decent amount right there. And now if we ever need to repair this while mining, we can just repair it automatically. I'm going to put the other furnace down. I don't actually know why I dug it up. But I'm going to put that down. I'm going to put stuff in here as I can. Because what, and actually we're, we're going to do our best to stay organized from the beginning here. Going to have a separate chest just for various ores and ingots and stuff like that. We are going to keep the aluminum on us just so we can refill our 
repair kit as we need to. But for the most part, we can keep most of our stuff in there. We probably... Nah, we'll be fine. I was considering making a repair kit for the copper armor right away, but I don't think we should need to. And I believe the same should be true with the sticks. We're going to keep that little bit of wood on us just in case. But for the most part here... Remove the nightshade. And for the most part, we're good. We The one thing we do need is we need a source of food quickly. I believe we got... Yeah, we got 12 bones. So, what we could do is... I know it's kind of icy. I'm trying to think if there's a good way to make like a little farm here. Because we could just bone meal seeds right away and get a little bit of food. But... You know what? No, we're gonna... We're actually gonna steal this. We're just gonna dig all of this up. Oh, uh, but we can't really dig all of it up. Yet. So we're gonna put that stuff away. Put that away. We put a little bit of ore... Eh, this sort of scores can stay. But we put a little bit of our ores and valuable stuff in there. So what we're gonna do is we are going to keep this on us just in case. We are going to mark this as our um, spawn and temporary base. So spawn slash temp base. Spawn is spelled with an S for those that are wondering. <laughs> but we can use that to find our way back here. In the meantime, I think what we're going to do is we are going to look at the map here real quick. What direction did we start going? We started going just straight north and went kind of east, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go northwest here, and we are going to see if we can't happen to find a good place for a base or something like a village, something similar like that, and we can move our stuff there after we find that. It's another house down here, actually. <gasps> the raccoons, do I have... Oh, all I have on me is steak. I'm not willing to give that up. Ooh. However, if there's going to be free... Oh, no, you saw it there. They they can just pick up food, and it's absolutely adorable. Um, he did just eat it there, which is unfortunate. No, he didn't. He's still holding it. Perfect. So what... Okay, he is eating it. No, I didn't mean to hit you. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, I got to I'm sorry, little raccoon. I didn't mean it. Oh, the raccoons are adorable, though, because they will pick up food, and if there is a... Where the heck? Oh, there it is. If there is water nearby, they will actually do what real raccoons do, and go up to the water and wash their food. And then they will eat it, and it's just really adorable to watch. But, like I said, unfortunately, I was trying to clear the grass so we could see the raccoon easier, and I accidentally hit the raccoon, so... Mr. Raccoon had to take a little vacation to the farm of state. Oh, whoa, it's actually a pretty big house. Very nice. Fishing in the dark. Find a fish. Oh, it's a fishing hut. Okay. Hopefully that means they've got some, like, free food in here that we can borrow. I'm hearing zombies. A little concerning. Oh, hello, zombie. You're all armored up, too. Oh, it's a spawner. I... Oh, I don't know whether I'm going to break the spawner yet or not. The spawner could be... Uh, could be very useful. For now, I think we are going to... What are we... In order to break, you must sneak while doing so. That's new. Oh, no. Oh, okay. You need to sneak while breaking it in, in case you're playing multiplayer, it looks like. That's interesting. We're just going to light that up for now. But yeah, let's... Oh, no, wait. That's not what I want to do. Oh, you're supposed to open it. Well, now I feel stupid. That's fine. We still got some. We got some loot of salmon. <laughs> There's another furnace there we could grab if we really wanted. I'm going to mark this as a zombie spawner, though. Zombie spawner. We can come back to this 
hopefully, I don't know if there's a mod in here that'll let us do it, but hopefully we can grab it. Ooh, we love sugarcane. We love the option of sugarcane. Yes, there is also the uh, mini bees mod, a reed nest. Oh no, did I break your nest? I'm sorry, little bee. What bee are you? It's a mason bee. I have no idea what a mason bee does. Let's uh, let's look at that real quick. A mason bee. I have a feeling it will produce stuff like... Okay, I have no idea what it produces. Oh, it's useful for making other bees like gold bee and silver bee. Interesting. And that looks promising up there. Is that... I can't tell if that's like a well or if it's going to be housing for a waste stone or what. And we got one of these dudes. The bat dudes from Ars Novu. Um, Wildens, that's what they're called. But luckily we do have our copper armor. We've got our iron helmet, so we can survive. Oh, uh, it's just a frozen well. There's not even a village around here. Still cheated. We got cheated out of a good... Good find there. Um, yeah, unfortunately, this this snow biome here is going on for forever. Just non-stop. I didn't realize we spawned in one of those uh, winter-only worlds. <laughs> um, let's just be grateful there is no RL craft type temperature mod in this, because I would be frozen in 0.2 seconds. Well, it at least switches to rain here for not long enough. <gasps> are these like seals? What are they? They're seals, yes. Oh, they're adorable. Look at them. Oh, you can hear a little barking too. Yes, I love them. I love Alex's mod. It adds so many cute little things to it. Yes. Oh, we finally have a lot of lag. Um, <laughs> We finally have a biome that is not garbage. Yes, and it's got the fruit trees as well, so we can eat oranges and other foods. We've got zombies here that we can murder. I mean, send to the farm upstate. <laughs> oh, and we have another wilderness stalker that just kind of blended in with the tree. That was unexpected. Oh, I'm sure it's probably gonna end up- No, don't hurt it! Don't hurt the Tasmanian devil. The Tasmanian devil's adorable. Okay. So we're going to head back to the temp base. We're going to pick up as much of our stuff as we can. Um, actually, you know what? I wonder, we did have that... We've got eight leather on us. Wow. Okay, can we make a backpack of any kind? There is this backpack mod. I do like... Okay, yeah. If we just get some string, which don't appear to have any on us. So... What we're going to do is we're going to try and find some spiders on the way back to kill. Get a little bit of string here. And if we get some string, then we can make a backpack. And we can see what we can do with uh, trying to carry back as much of our stuff as we can. Make as few trips as possible back and forth. Here's a spider. Come on, give us string. We got one string. Okay, so... You do still have a little bit... Whoa. And we're shoved into a cave by this thing. You're being very rude, my friend. Very rude indeed. Come here. We need you. We need you for our backpack adventure. Two straight. Is that enough? How much How much did we need for the backpack? We needed four. No, we're one off. Yeah, I'm not even going to try the Enderman. The Enderman's just going to murder me. But I see another spider over there. There are skeletons as well. Oh, this is an even easier spider. Never mind, I was going to say we're willing to risk it, but we are not. Come on, there we go. We got a bunch of string. What? Let's see about making this backpack. I believe it was four string like that, three leather like that, and what else? Oh no, four leather and a chest, which we don't currently have on us. Great, okay. We've already got the wood, though. That's fine. Craft up a chest real quick. Stick it in the middle. Nope. That was wrong. I meant to do that. And then we still got four leather left over, actually, which... We can check it out. We might actually be able to upgrade the backpack, depending on what all the upgrades take. But let's check this out. 
let's open it up. We got, you can see we have a full chest worth of inventory space, which it's a really nice mod. I do love the sophisticated backpacks mod, but there are also upgrades here, which we can 100% afford and we will be doing. So let's just stick that there for now. Put our furnace down. And let's get some iron dust cooking. Up. We can put the iron in there. Have that back. All we need really is eight iron, but it is not going to hurt to, to cook up a little extra here. <laughs> but nice, we got the eight iron we need, and that's actually the first iron ingots we've held. Interesting. But we can upgrade that real quick, and boom, we have our iron backpack, which, yep, can hold up to two double chests worth. And it keeps putting it in the curious slot. I want it on the back slot, at least for now, because it's going to be a lot more helpful there. Let's make sure that we don't have any duplicates here. We don't. Okay. So now we can just start tossing all of this stuff in here we can worry about organizing later we'll actually um we'll pull out just a little more coal here and instead of cooking up the iron we'll cook up the rest of our fish because i really don't feel like waiting on hunger for trying to get through all this we can just dig this up actually and then we can just start tossing all of it in backpack and it doesn't all fit, but what doesn't fit can just go in my inventory, so we're all set. Uh, one of the first things we'll be working on once we make it to the nether actually is gathering a bunch of quartz, because we are going to want to make a refined storage system. And I don't know if you saw earlier, but as we were going through... In a ban I didn't think abandoned villages... Okay, maybe they're more common and modded, but this is actually really cool. I'm going to take the stone cutter. And I already got distracted with what I was talking about. Um, but we're going to want refined storage. I don't know if you saw. We did have... Ooh, very nice. What is this? Dirty bee cage. Huh. So if we want to work with bees as well, we can. But... Yeah, if we... Uh, if you saw earlier, we did actually have a mod of uh, A2 in this, which honestly, I I don't mind A2. It's not by any means my favorite, but the one nice thing is the mod appears to have changed so you just get Sirtis Quartz Dust. We're going to keep stealing these beds because I'm not seeing any villagers, and it's an abandoned village, so. But, oh, look at the kitty. We're going to keep, oh, there's two of them. Dang. Nice. Um, but you're able to smelt down... We've gotten some service quartz dust from AE2. And we're actually able to smelt that down into more silicon. Silicone. Whichever one. For the uh, refined storage mod. Which I am more than willing to do. Because the refined storage... I just... I love refined storage. I love the auto crafting system within it. I love being able to set up automation. So between that and having the mystical agriculture in this pack, we will be more than set for late game as far as automation goes. Out. Ooh, another one of these special an umbrella. We use both as a shield and a glider. Interesting. I think I am actually going to replace my copper shield. I know we haven't even used it at all, but I'm replacing my copper shield now with the umbrella, because if anything, it just looks cool. And now we have automatic gliding. Oh, that's awesome. I like it. But now that we're in the forest, I just saw on the map there is like a crater of some kind over here, which is interesting. We're going to steal some fruit along the way. Ooh, a persimmon. Whoa. Well, speaking of the nether, um, <laughs> it, oh, oh, interesting. No, this is, 
it's somewhat nether themed, but this is from the uh, A2 I was just talking about. At least I believe it is. It's got the uh, sky stone and stuff in it, so I'd assume so. Do that. Oh, moon sand. Oh, beyond earth. No, this is from. Um, this is from the brand new Galacticraft mod, actually. Uh, I don't know how many of you have seen that, but there is a updated Galacticraft mod they put out for 1.18. So I believe that's what's being used here. I can toss some of this stuff, I guess. But yeah, this is just, this is awesome. There's so much here. Steel. Steel is normally a much later game item. Well, eh, we're, we're kind of reaching the steel area. But, oh, I've just got so much stuff. What can I get rid of? I... I can get rid of the beetroot. I'm not going to have any beetroot. And you know what? That being said, I can I can drink the beetroot soup. Beetroot. Eh, I can speak. Beetroot soup. It's, uh, it's harder than you'd think to say. But eh, we can leave the gold nuggets. It's fine. Oh, this is a wonderful setup for a base. This is a wonderful place. Put this down. Let's grab our chests out of our backpack. Not quite what I meant to do. Really? Yes. Here are the umbrella. Oh no, the sword's about to break. Um, where's our beds? We picked up a bunch of beds. Let's let's sleep. Oh, the sword's broken. That's fine. Our capsule will do the job temporarily. Thought we had an axe somewhere. Yep, there we go. Perfect. See? We do get to use our stone tools, at least a little bit. Kill that skeleton right away. This is beautiful. Look at all the sheep and cows around as well. We got this nice river here. We got more of the Ars Novu. We got a little druid thing? Um, a Whirlisprig. Sounds like a Pokemon. But once again, from the Ars Novu. Did not mean to put the chest down like this. Let's actually fix this up real quick. Um, eat the oranges, or the permissons, sorry, permis uh, I don't know. However it's pronounced, you guys will, uh, let me know in the comments, I'm sure. <laughs> but, yeah, we can, uh, stay organized here. This is where all of our various ores and ore type materials will go. Boom, oh, uh, this is beautiful. This is gonna be our random kind of junk chest here. We might end up making a food chest, actually. Food and mob drops. Yeah, that's what this is going to be. This is going to be food and mob drops. Perfect. Um, we're going to keep this on us, actually. The bread can be our next source of food here. And then, real quick, while we're here, let's make... Yeah, let's do that. Let's get going with a... Da, 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 da. Sword from Silent Mod. Okay, so if we do that and that, is that what we need? Yeah. So now we have an aluminum sword, which does six attack damage. I believe that's actually equivalent to iron sword. But look at that. Yeah, that's six attack damage. Awesome. And what's the speed? 1.8 attack speed. So a slightly higher speed. Oh, no, we want a lower speed, I think. I don't remember. Regardless, it's it's decent. I will happily take that. So we can toss that in there. We can start just pulling all of this stuff out, but now we have a decent sword to go along with everything else. We can start with the ores here. Um, this is the Certus Quartz dust I was talking about. If you look at the uses on it, you can turn it into like pure Certus Quartz seeds and stuff, or what I'm probably going to do, turn it into silicon, which as you can see, is used in applied energistics, but I believe I should also be able to use this for... Can I not also use this for the... Um, I should know what it's called. Um, <laughs> refined storage. Oh, I don't know that I can. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. If If we can't, we'll just figure it out. We can... We can do something else, but oh, well. that's fine. Like I said, we can 
we can do something else with it. Uh, rotten flesh, that's a mob drop. I'm gonna hold off on the fine silk going in there. I'm gonna put the fine silk in the randomized kind of junk chest for now. The cow started moving, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> uh, we can put the zombie head in there though. Start tossing some stuff in here. The potion of luck, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure how luck works. I used to think it increased like loot tables for chests and stuff, but I've been told I'm wrong about that. So please, if you know how it works, let me know, because I've got no idea. Um, we're almost done though. We are gonna keep these out actually. We're gonna put them down. This this grass blocking where I put everything. Where did my thank you? This grass blocking where I put everything is really getting on my nerves. But we can do that. We can put that in there so we make sure it gets fixed up. That can sit in there for now. Wilden wing, put in there. And nice. We are like all cleared up now. All sorted as well. Oh, this is wonderful. This is absolutely incredible. What a great first episode. Now comes the fun part. It is modded. So that gives us a lot of new materials and we have to figure out how we want to build our base. I think for now, oh, see, I want to chop down some of the oak and just get what I can from it and start building a base. But at the same time, a lot of these trees around here, oh, this was one too. A lot of them are fruit trees and I don't really want to waste the fruit trees by chopping them down. However, 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 something that I am more than willing to do here is take this, and where's our zinc? Let's grab some of the zinc here. Let's make... Oh, crap. Oh, well, that's fine. We need to make a new ore hammer, because I used it up and didn't even think about the fact that we're going to need to make a new one with the ores that we got. What I am going for here is there is a mechanical saw that we can craft, and if we craft the mechanical saw, and I can mark this stuff, we craft the saw and the hand crank. Come on, there we go. These two things will make tree chopping infinitely easier. So, Let's see, I don't, well, we can get started on the sheets at least, which we do need to make sure that we choose the right one. Here we go. So we can make this hammer. Oh, that's actually a really easy hammer to make too. So let's grab some iron. We already have one iron nugget, but we are going to need more. Let's do that. Let's craft up this hammer right away. I know we're going to end up needing some more sticks then, but that's fine. We've got wood on us. Perfect. Okay. Craft up some more sticks. Boom. The hopper has just finished cooking. Perfect. We can one more time craft up a very nice ore hammer to duplicate our early game ores. Boom. And boom. Zinc. There we go. We can split this up again. Um, like that. That way we use up the properly but now what we want to do we can actually put that in there because that makes sense the little nugs can go back in there as well and then what we want to do is put that like that boom we've got some andesite hopefully it's enough how much are we going to need we're going to need one two three or five andesite so no that is not enough ah uh, that's fine that is actually fine. All we need to do now is find just a little bit more stone, which there's this nice mountain over here. We'll just run over to this mountain and start mining out a little bit of the stone at it. And that will give us seven, which is more than enough. Perfect. So we're gonna grab zinc nuggets here and combine it with the andesite casing. Boom. Now we've got, or the andesite, and now we have andesite alloy, which is wonderful. We're gonna want a ton of that in the future but for now we can just work with what we've got we're gonna want to sleep soon not quite night yet okay but 
we wanted three that's aluminum i don't want aluminum i wanted iron we're gonna want three iron plates okay oh what oh that only has nine durability wow that is a really bad hammer wow i don't like that at all that's really unfortunate i i'll be honest about that i was not aware how bad that hammer was and I did that. Oh, that stinks. Oh, so we've got the mechanical saw. Now all we need is the hand crank, right? We do need to make that. And then let's craft down the last log we've got. But it will be so worth it because now we have, boom, everything we need. At least to start this. So we're out of torches, but that is fine. The bigger trees here are normally a pain, but with create, it's nice and easy. If you crouch and place it down, you can see that the saw is pointed towards the tree. That's what you want. You can then put down the handle and start turning it. And you will notice my hunger goes down a lot faster as I turn the handle. That's fine by me. I don't mind it. It makes sense because as you can see the trees all the way chopped down and it does fall like you might see a tree fall in real life. It falls in the direction you uh, chop down. So yeah, I I do love that feature with create. And just to show it does fall in whatever direction you chop it down in, I'll chop this one down this way. You do have to be careful if you start automating these quickly because the saws do damage you and other animals. So you could accidentally wipe out entire herds of sheep if you're not careful. But, oh yes, look at that. And we just chopped down two giant trees at the cost of a little bit of food there. That is beautiful. This is why I love Create. We have 42 logs here. That's wonderful. I love it. So now we can head back to our stuff here. We can, for now, put the various Create stuff away. Even if they are poisonous, we'll put the nightshade in the food chest. Did I? Did I ever? I did not finish emptying out my backpack. I was like, I could have sworn we had nightshade already. We definitely did. We can put some sinew in there. Ooh. Can we use that for string? We can cook it. We can use it for sinew fibers, which it looks like it's essentially string within the, the silent mob. It might. It looks like it might actually be able to be used for string in general. Awesome. Yeah, I'm more than willing to uh, get extra string here. Put that in there, that in there, that in there. Just all the different food items here. And just toss them on in. Reed net. I think I'm going to put the reed nest in there along with the sugar cane. Just because it does kind of make sense. The wood and saplings, on the other hand, I am going to keep out. The animal fat, the nightshade. All that fun stuff. The player head I'm going to keep out. The broccoli seeds can go in there. And I think the apples we're also going to keep out just because it is kind of different. So, yeah. Uh, we want to put that in the fun chest. Like Grey Wolf can just go in there. I do not feel like doubling up that chest just yet just for one item. So, there we go. Now we have a lot more taken care of. Very organized. And more importantly, we have a lot of materials and ways to get them. We've got some more zinc in these. Perfect. And yeah, that will uh that'll make it really easy to start up the the very next episode. We'll be able to start with possibly some of the create mod. Um in between streams, I will probably do a little bit of work on setting up. We can actually remove that particular waypoint right now and that one. And we can set this as our brand new home. But like I was saying, in between streams, I will probably work on building us probably not a full base yet, but at least doing a little bit of terraforming, making us a little hut to live in, place to put our storage and stuff. 
And then next episode, we can work on getting into some create, some automation, a bunch of cool different mods. So yeah, in the meantime, I hope that you enjoyed the stream. If you're watching this on YouTube, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe, just whatever you feel like doing. That'd be awesome. Okay. In that case, have a great day, everyone.